My name is Michael Wellbank. I'm chairman of the Planning and Transportation Committee of the City of London Corporation. And we will be introducing the 20 mile an hour zone for the whole of the city streets on July the 20th. And you will be seeing these signs around the streets of London then. As can be seen from the highway code, being hit by a vehicle at 20 miles an hour is not likely to produce life-threatening injuries, but raise that up to 40 miles an hour and it's very much more highly likely that life-damaging injuries will occur. And so it produces safety, but it also produces a different atmosphere in the streets. We are having ever-increasing numbers of cyclists, ever-increasing numbers of pedestrians, and this produces a calmer atmosphere for everybody in the streets to enjoy the atmosphere. Chief Inspector McCoy, can you tell me what other danger reduction measures we're likely to see in the city streets over and above the 20 mile an hour limit? As well as the new 20 miles an hour speed limit, some of the changes you can expect to see include contraflow cycling, junction redesign, pedestrian countdowns on crossings and traffic light timing adjustments. Road safety continues to be highlighted by our city residents and workers as important. Reducing the number of people killed or seriously injured on the city roads is something the City of London Police is working hard to achieve in partnership with the City of London Corporation and Transport for London. Everyone who travels to the city should be entitled to journey here safely. To help each other to do this, we all have a role to play and that simply means everyone just slowing down a little and being that extra bit patient with everyone else. Any initiatives such as the introduction of the 20 miles per hour speed zone that reduces road casualties will be supported by the City of London Police and we will continue to encourage everyone to work together to share the city roads safely. <laughs>